Hey guys, today's video blog, I want to talk to you a little bit about hoop nets that you need for lobster fishing. Standing next to me was Steve. He's with Promar. They're the manufacturers of these hoop nets. And Steve, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. So let's tell our viewers a little bit about the different styles of hoop nets. You basically have three different designs. Right, exactly. So Promar currently offers three different designs. We have a rigid, which is the Ambush series, mm -hmm. and we actually have two models in the Ambush series. We have the Ambush, which is a 32-inch hoop net, and we have an Ambush XL, which is a 36-inch hoop net. Which this one is. Right, exactly. So the difference between the two is that Obviously, the Ambush XL is a little bigger, but also the bridle. So the Ambush, uh, the regular Ambush 32-inch has a black bridle, and the 36-inch has a blue bridle. So it's really easy to distinguish. Then when you're out there. Right, exactly. And this is <clears throat> the largest size net that's legal in California. DFW. Exactly, yeah, 36 inches is what the DFW, California DFW allows for fishermen to use, sport fishermen, recreational. Okay, and then what's the other one? So this is our collapsible, um, this is the Eclipse, which is also a 36 inch. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about this is that it collapses so, so that it's flat and really easy to stow, yeah. Yeah, this is the one we used to use all the time because that was the largest. Right, exactly. This was the largest, but now we have the Ambush XL. Right, and these are really easy to handle and nice on the boat. And you have one other style? Yeah, so this is our flat deluxe. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is our flat deluxe style hoop net, and you'll typically see these on piers. People use them to land big fish on a pier, mm -hmm. or if um, they want to do some lobster fishing off a pier, they'll throw this down, tie it to the pier, wait a few minutes, and hopefully get a lobster. And then, I don't know officially, <laughs> but what is it, one hoop net, two hoop nets? I believe pier? it's one per person on a pier. On and a then pier. when you're on a boat, if you're by yourself, you can have five hoop nets. Right. Um, and the max on a boat is 10. So even if you have- 20 people on 20 people, you can only have 10 hoop nets on a boat, right? All right. And the style, do you see one style working any better? I mean, my personal experience is we've caught lobsters on both of these. Right. But uh, I haven't tried th these ones yet, the XLs. So typically I would say that I prefer using the hard, rigid hoop yeah. nets. It's, it's, it's what I've had the most success with. But honestly, it's personal preference. Everyone prefers their style of hoop nets. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as I know, and as far as my personal success rate, I've always been really good with the, the rigid style ambush. Right. The yeah. only reason I would even think about getting the clips is if you're going to keep them on your boat all the time. You're going to Catalina a lot. You're just going to stow them on the boat, and you want them flat. Absolutely. Then maybe I would I would get that. But if if it's going to be something you're going to take off your vessel every trip and take home. Yeah, this is the way if I you have go. the space I think this is the way to go if you're limited on space and want something that will stow away really easy I think this is the way to go right and I like this because there's no rigging I don't want to have to put that together right exactly just, this comes with the bridle comes with the float mm -hmm. You're all set all you need is your main line and your marker buoy and that's pretty much it Yeah, fill them up with bait and you're ready to go exactly now from here on top of the bridle is Where you would tie on your rope and the ropes gonna go all the way up to the surface with a float and uh, we'll be talking about other accessories that you need to be successful at hoop net fishing for lobsters. And uh, we're going to talk about that in future video blogs. But if you want to get more information about these hoop nets, so you can find them and all the stores have them. Turner's Outdoorsman has them. Some of your local stores will have them too. Where can they go to your website and see all the details? So promarnets.com and we're also on Facebook and Instagram and uh, we're always posting photos and videos on how to rig up. The, the different gear. Exactly. All right, cool. Well, thanks, cool. Steve. Thanks for having us, Dan. All right, well, that's today's video blog here at my beautiful office in Cerritos. We're going to be giving you uh, more video blogs and more information for lobster hoop netting. There's a, a long season still left in front of us. It goes all the way till March next year. And remember, when you bought your license this year, it will still be good after January till the end of the lobster season. If you do not send in your report card, your lobster card, at the end of the season, then Fish and Wildlife will charge you $20, maybe $25 next year for not sending it in. You'll still be able to get a license and be able to get a, a hoop net card the following year, but they will charge you a fee for not sending it in. So make sure at the end of the season you send it in. All right, for seeing myself, goodbye for now, and we'll be talking to you soon with more information on how to catch lobsters.